Hey guys, and here we are back for another one. Now today I'm going to share with you my review of the Kinap TS453 Mini, which is a NAS unit or network attached storage unit. Now this is not just a NAS, it has a few more interesting features and that being said, let's go straight for the video. Hope that you guys enjoy it and I'll see you in a few seconds. And here we are with the Kinap TS453 Mini 4 Bay NAS unit powered by an Intel quad core CPU Celeron at 2 GHz with 2 GB of DDR3 RAM that can be upgraded up to 8 gigs. And regarding our usual quick unboxing experience, once we open the package, we will find a quick user guide, one power cable, eight plastic brackets to secure the drives, two Cat 5e Ethernet cables, one power brick, one remote control, which is unusual for a NAS, but we will cover that later on and finally the key nap that comes very well protected and on my opinion of course just looks awesome with that black piano look. And now taking a closer look at the front, we will find the Kinap logo along with the indication LEDs, one power button, one direct copy button and a USB 3.0 port. At the back, one power input jack, two USB 2.0 ports, two gigabit Ethernet connections, two USB 3.0 ports and one HDMI output. At the bottom, four rubber feet to avoid any vibrations, the air vents for the cooling system and also a compartment that will allow us to upgrade the RAM up to 8 gigs. And on the top, it has the access to the drive base through a magnetic door, which is pretty solid as we can see. And talking about the drives, I'll be using four WD red drives on these testings. And to place them, all we need to do after removing the top cover is to remove the individual trays, insert the drive and secure it with the included brackets. And that is it. Repeat this process three more times and insert the trays back on the NASH. And now we are ready to power on the system. System. And once we turn the machine on, it will be recognized on our network and all we need to do to set it up is just to follow the Kinap wizard and in no time we are ready to use it. Now the first thing that I did face was actually a firmware update and for what I have experienced and also researched, Kinap delivers frequent updates on all their products which on my opinion is just great. Now one of the things that I loved on this NASH is the amount of apps that we can install. This is so far the only NASH that I've tested that gives me the option to install almost any app that I could imagine and if I counted them right at this moment there are more than 200 apps and the library is growing. Now regarding the installation it's pretty simple we can install them from the list on the dashboard or we can search for more on the Kinap website download install and that is it we are ready to use the app. I did install a few that I'm used to such as Plex, Kodi, Spotify, browsers and so on and we will see those working in just a few moments but one that I really enjoyed and will show show right now is the photo station that will allow us to create a live slideshows from our photo library and this can be very useful if we store our photos on the TS453 Mini. And now looking at the dashboard once again there are a lot of options to choose how we will use this device and from the simplest one up to the more complex options my opinion is that there are settings available for every single need that we have and that being said I'm going to leave you guys just for a few seconds with an overview of some of the options and I'll be right back for some more.
and I'm back. So one of the most important features on any Nash, it's his backup capability and the Kidnap has a lot to offer here. Being able to backup to servers, other Nash units, time machine backups, cloud backups such as Amazon S3 and other services integration as Dropbox. But I'm going to focus on the one that is the most important to me, the USB backups, which is very simple to use, but with a lot of important features such as the schedule backups where we can set up the Nash to back up on a daily, weekly or monthly basis and then just forget about it. Some of the NAS units that I've tested on the past do not offer this type of scheduling backups on USB and this one does which is just great. And finally on the backup section one other feature that is very useful it's the front USB to copy from any USB drive that we may change in during our day and when we arrive at home all we need to do is plug it in, press the button and take a shower while the Nash makes a backup of all our files. And regarding speed test, I was getting roughly 100 megabytes per second, both on writes and on reads across all RAID options. And to access the Nash outside our network was also very easy using my Kinap Cloud feature that will let us create an account and register our Nash on Kinap servers, allowing us to access it from anywhere without the need to configure any settings manually. It even configured all the ports on my router automatically. And from that moment on, I can have full access to the Kinap from outside my network, very similar to what we have with services like Dropbox or Google Drive. And we also have apps available for our mobile devices and computers. And talking about mobility, I did try three of the apps, one of which is the key manager that we can use to monitor our Nash and control everything with our phone, which honestly impressed me with all the options that I had available on the phone, making this, on my opinion, of course, one of the most complete apps available to control a Nash unit. And the second app was Keyfile that will give me access to all the files on my Nash and of course the ability to sync my phone files such as photos to the Nash and also to browse pictures, videos and so on. And the last app that I tested was Keyphoto that honestly having so many options on the previous app makes this one a bit redundant but nonetheless it is especially useful for the multimedia browsing. And usually my reviews about Nash units end up right about here. But if you recall, this one comes with a remote control and also an HDMI output. So what we can do is to use it as a media center as well, giving us the option to install apps directly from the TV interface without the need to go to the back dashboard. And I did test out three apps that I'm very comfortable with on other units. And the first one was browsing. Yep, that is right. We can install Chrome or Firefox and browse the internet on this Nash. And have in mind that we will need either a mouse and keyboard or a wireless remote and the experience was just great. And for those that like to have Plex server and Plex player in just one machine, then here it is, easy to set up and with great results on all my tests at 1080. And finally, my favorite app, which is, as most of you guys know, Kodi. And here I tested out with Big Bug Bunny, Tales of Steel and Sintel, both versions 1080 and 4K with H.264 and H.265 codecs. And although Kinapt states that the Nash will play up to 1080, my test revealed that although the output is 1080, the device is totally capable of playing 4K files. And regarding the responsiveness of this Nash unit was simply great, I felt that I was using a multimedia box instead of a Nash. And by the way, Big Buck Bunny, Tears of Steel and Sintel were all shown publicly under Creative Commons 3.0 and all credits to are down below in the video description. So in conclusion guys, things that I did like the most were the build quality and overall design, the silent operation of the Nash, the huge amount of apps that we can install, easy to use but with a lot of dashboard options and finally being able to be used as a media center connected to our TV. On the other hand, things that I did like the least, there were none as you could see on all my testings. And that is it, we have reached the end of another review, this time the Kinap Nash TS453 Mini. Hope that you guys enjoyed the video and if you did so, don't forget that usual thumbs up. My name is Roberto George and as always, I'll see you on the next one.